If you are a homeowner, there's a large chance that you own and maintain some sort of lawn. Often you'll be using some sort of chemicals to help grow and maintain your lawn. These chemicals often run off into streams and rivers, polluting the water, killing local plants and animals. Some chemicals have even been linked to long-term health issues in pets and humans such as cancer. While lawn chemicals are the most popular way of maintaining a lawn, organically maintained lawns are often healthier and require less maintenance. By using more organic lawn care methods, you could be making your home and environment a safer place. Did you know? Suburban lawns and gardens receive more pesticide applications per acre than agriculture. But what exactly are lawn chemicals? Lawn chemicals are fertilizers, herbicides, and insecticides used in lawn and garden care. Fertilizers often include nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which are also known as potash, which are all necessary nutrients for plants, plants to grow. Herbicides and insecticides are chemicals used to kill pests and unwanted weeds. But why are these lawn chemicals so bad? Well, when lawn chemicals are applied improperly, they can often run off into streams, harming fish and animals, and contaminating our drinking water. Overapplication of any lawn chemical can result in runoff that carries toxic levels of chemicals or excess nutrient into lakes, streams, and groundwater. This can cause overgrowth of plants, choking out other wildlife. Did you know that of 30 commonly used lawn pesticides, 13 are po probable or possible carcinogens, 13 are linked with birth defects, and 21 with reproductive effects? Children are more susceptible to the exposure of lawn chemicals compared to adults because their bodies are still developing. Did you know? The use of lawn chemicals accounts for most wildlife poisonings reported to the Environmental Protection Agency. So what are these organic solutions? Many people believe that in order to get the results of a nice looking healthy lawn, they need to use lawn chemicals, but there are more cost and environmental efficient options that can be applied. When cutting grass, cut higher and leave lawn clippings in the yard to decompose. This will add nutrients to the soil. Also, you can use a lawn aerator. This is a tool that creates holes in the lawn which allows oxygen, nutrients, and water to go deeper into the soil, helping the grass to grow more. Slow-release fertilizers are more cost-efficient and eco-friendly. Organic fertilizers can be found for as low as $25. When landscaping, choose plants that are more pest resilient. This way, using pesticides may not be as necessary. So whenever springtime comes around next year, remember, organic lawn care is cheaper and better for the environment.